Hi, I'm Mike Chappell, and in this Cert Mike Explains video, we're going to talk about how we use a system of tiers to describe the different capabilities of a data center. Now, you might be asking yourself, why does a security professional need to worry about data center capabilities? Well, these tiers are actually very important to us because they directly impact availability. The higher a data center's tier level, the better it's going to be able to meet our availability requirements. Data centers differ significantly in their capabilities. Some of them are bare bones facilities that simply have the minimum power and cooling required to run the equipment they contain. Others have many levels of redundant components designed to ensure that they withstand a disaster. Security professionals need to understand the resiliency capabilities of the facilities they use or are considering using. To make this work easier, data center professionals use a system of tiers created by a group called the Uptime Institute to describe the level of resiliency built into a data center. There are four tiers, and the higher numbered tiers are more resilient than the lower numbered tiers. Tier 1 data centers are the most basic type of data center. The requirements for this tier are that a data center must have an uninterruptible power supply that can handle brief power outages, as well as sags and spikes. It must have dedicated cooling equipment that can run 24-7, and a generator to handle extended power outages. Data centers at Tier 1 should be expected to provide 99.671% availability. When we move up to Tier 2, we add redundant components for important cooling systems, as well as redundant components that are critical to supplying power to equipment. These facilities must also have the ability to store additional fuel to support the generator. Data centers at Tier 2 are expected to provide 99.741% availability. Those are the first two of four tiers. I'll cover Tiers 3 and 4 in a minute. But before I do, I just want to take a moment to invite you to visit my website at certmike.com. On that site, I have free study plans put together to help you earn your next cybersecurity certification. The plans tie together the content that you'll find in study guides, video courses, and practice tests to help you prepare for your next certification exam and pass that test on the first try. Also, if you're enjoying this Cert Mike Explains video, please take a moment to click the like button below to help other people discover it. If you subscribe to my channel, you'll be among the first to see my new cybersecurity videos as they come out. All right, let's get back to those data center tiers. Tier 3 data centers add even more redundant components. The major advantage of a Tier 3 data center is that it never needs to be shut down for maintenance activity. There is enough redundant equipment that any piece of it may be taken offline for maintenance while the data center continues to run. Data centers at Tier 3 are expected to provide 99.982% availability. Tier 4 is the most sophisticated and the most expensive type of data center. These facilities are protected against not only scheduled maintenance, but also unplanned events. This makes outages extremely uncommon and data centers at Tier 4 are expected to provide 99.995% availability. As you prepare for your next exam, you should know the different tiers of data centers and the expected uptime provided at each tier. This summary chart should help you with your preparation. That's what you need to know about data center tiers when you take your next cybersecurity exam. I hope you found this explainer useful. Thanks for watching, and subscribe to see more.